everybody. So today I have the Dwarf 2 and we're going to be imaging birds at this feeder right here. And I'm going to go away so that the birds can go and uh, they don't care I'm here. Who's kidding? These birds will literally eat out of my hands if I, if I do this long enough. They'll come and say, hey, is there some food in my hands? Eventually. But let's talk about the Dwarf, which is right here. No sooner had I moved off that the Cardinals and Morning Doves also started to approach the feeder. So I started to grab some footage with the Dwarf 2 that the Dwarf Labs sent me to review. Now as the Dwarf 2 has a 8 megapixel slash 4K sensor, I mainly stuck to video to capture the birds in feeding because birds moving around is cool and while photos are nice, I could pull them from the video feed if I wanted to. I am still on the iOS beta software, so auto tracking is not yet supported and autofocus is still a little bit hit or miss. They just improved the autofocus for the stars and they're working on improving the algorithms for daytime next. And again, it's still beta software. The easiest way I found using the Dwarf 2 for birding is to be on the wide angle camera and then tap on the bird to have the camera point towards it. Then I just have to use the joystick controller to fine tune position and then jump to the telephoto lens to fine tune autofocus and then record the bird as desired. Here's a photo right out of camera of a cardinal. And then here's the same photo after some editing. Yes, software editing these days is just as important as hardware. And in this photo, I used Topaz Sharpen AI, which is also part of Photo AI in order to improve the details. I am very happy with the Dwarf 2 as a birding telescope and I'm looking forward to the iOS official app drop where it will contain auto tracking which will then allow us to track the birds which will give us some additional function and features. Hey everyone, so that's it for me today. It is cold out here and yes, I am filming on my phone and on the Dwarf. We're gonna see what I put in the post edit. And if I have convinced you the Dwarf 2 is the right product for you, please consider helping out me and my channel by clicking on the affiliate link below. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but I get a small percentage that helps make these videos. And if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below to answer one question. The Dwarf 2 does have a weatherproof rating, but it is not suitable for being underwater. If you are still not convinced that this camera is right for you, please be sure to check out this playlist that I'll probably post here, probably somewhere about here. Yeah, somewhere over here, where I have all the different videos I've made with the Dwarf 2 to show its capabilities. And as the iOS software continues to be developed, I'll let you know of any new features that are coming out for the Dwarf 2.